So all around this world, right? All around this whole world. All around this big wide globe. You know, we got people crashing out every day. We got people who they lost all their faith. They don't have no respect for our Father in Heaven. They don't have no respect at all for nobody. They lost it. Be it because they got a, a childhood that was traumatizing, being because they, they feel a parent and somebody sabotaged them, be it because they don't feel like they got a fair shake in the world, be it because they got a a relationship that went bad with baby mamas or ex-girlfriends or both, you know, and, you know, they, they, they dealing with daily stresses, you know, suffering from trauma that, that went unhealed, mental health that went unchecked and people crashing out. And that's the title of the video. And, you know, you know, it's easy to crash out. Folks, listen to me. listen to me. it's easy to crash out. Right. But it's hard to get up out of crashing out. And what I mean is you can crash out on anybody at any given time. You can you, you crash out and lose. You can crash out and, and lose some more. You ain't going to win. You know, you might you might be one of those people that's on the news in retrospect that snapped, took out others and took out itself. Un- unalived others and then took yourself up out of here. But what does it get you? Okay, get you a first class ticket to hell. Some people scared of hell. Some people don't think it's real. Some people are absolutely terrified. Who is some people? Some people, you. You got a conscience? Are you fearful of God? You you wouldn't crash out if, if you are truly fearful of God. But also, I say you wouldn't crash out. But you would you would highly consider something else that would be more constructive and positive. Because one thing about crashing out, folks, when you when you absolutely crash out, like when you when you going down that path of unalive, when you going down that path of of pulling robberies, jack moves, anything can and will go wrong. And one thing about that is when you when you go down that dark path, you can't unseat the consequences. You can't change the outcomes. So know that, you know, when you crashing out, folks, when you uh, just know some of it you cannot come back from. Some of it, nothing will ever be the same for the lives you, you, you may have destroyed or hurt, you know. It's something to really think about, you know, proactive thinking. It sounds like it's just two two words, but if you can't if you can't step back from your situation, whatever it is, and really assess it, and really consider what you're doing, you might just find yourself in a situation where you are a distant memory, or you are somebody serving a cold, hard life sentence. Because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys this. The, the people that love you in, in this life, it might be a few, it might be many, but most likely it's probably just a few. Those people can do nothing for you when you crash out, folks. And here's the thing. They might, you. let's say you're lucky enough that you got rich brothers and sisters that might want to help you. Or you're rich enough, you got, you know, um, rich parents that might want to help you. They got tons and tons of funds. If you if you take somebody out, if you take out an ex girlfriend, a best friend, a sibling, a mother, a father, they can't get you out of that, man. You that nobody can get somebody up out of a M U R D E R. You you're cooked. So I get it. I've I've spoke to people before. I've talked to to, to youth. You you may be troubled. You might be orphan. You might be suffering, maintaining the job. You might be struggling mentally and can't get right day to day. 
you might be going through all can of hell. But the second, the second you hear me out before I go, the second you go overboard, the second you say I've had it, I've had enough. Nobody is gonna, nobody is gonna screw me over anymore. No, no female is gonna hurt my feelings. You know, no, no parent is gonna tell me, you know, no. I'm just saying, people, people crash out for many different reasons. And you might say, you know, nobody is going to disrespect me. You know, I'm not going to take any more crap off the job. I'm going to handle this. Well, just know that when you handle it, if you don't handle it in a God-fearing way, you know, if you don't handle it in a righteous way and you crash out with ill intent, you crash out in a demonic fashion, just remember you got to wear that. You got to wear it here for the legal system. And if you don't repent and you're not remorseful, truly, truly remorseful, you're going to have to wear that on the other side as well with, with the Holy Father, you know, with the Most High. You know, people ain't going to tell you that. There, there's consequence. There's huge consequences. And when you stab somebody, you cannot unstab them. You know, you cannot unstab them. You know, if you use a firearm, you cannot remove those bullets that, you know, took someone out. So you, you got to think about it. You, you got to exit your emotions. I'm speaking from a place in the road, in the path with certain things that I've been down, especially if it's, it's about anger. I've, I've, I've had tons and tons of regrets. And even if I didn't have regrets about crashing out, does believe I felt bad because God seen me crash out and I, and I let myself fall victim to those demons. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all seven minutes of truth crashing out is the title. You'll see me dropping many videos. We going to do this. We going to talk about this. This is what I want to do. Now, this ain't all I'm going to talk about, but this is what I wanted to do. And some of you guys, I mean, hey, sports related, check out my other channel, folks. Go check out that channel, you know, right there on the screen, you know, especially if you like sports. But right now, this is more important. And I'm going to spend time with on what's important. And this is what's important right now. So that's why I'm dropping this here. All right. Peace out, man.